Hello folks, today in Blender 3D we are going to learn how to make a bowling pin like this one, kind of. So to get started, we're going to do file, we're going to do new, to start up a new file. Then what we are going to do is we're going to delete the cube, and then we're going to go into front view in orthographic mode. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a background image. I'll put a link to my Dropbox below to the blueprint that we're going to be using today in this tutorial. Select the blueprint that we're using for the tutorial. Click open image and there's your image. Line up your image on the on the Z axis. To do that, hold down shift and select this this box right here and and line it up until the blue line meets with the center of the pin. Next we're gonna do is we're gonna create a circle. We're gonna move the circle all the way down to the bottom of the pin. What we're gonna do is now we're gonna turn on snapping. We're gonna zoom in back in the front ortho. We're gonna zoom in and we're gonna line this up better. We're gonna go into edit mode and we're gonna extrude this out. Next what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to get the picture lined up with the with the cylinder that we just made. To do that, hold down shift and straighten this out the best you can. But first make sure you turn snapping off. That looks pretty good. We're going to go ahead and turn snapping, leave snapping off for now because we don't need it anymore. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to scale in the, the cylinder to match the size of the pin. To do that, S to scale and line it up with the left side or the right side of the image. Then we're going to do Alt, click, and then scale. I would recommend that you use wireframe mode. Press Z to go into wireframe mode. As you can see, I had to refine tune the scaling on one of the on one of the rings because it wasn't lined up properly. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna continue to scale this out into a pen.
Now you have your basic shape of the bowling pin, as you can see here. Press D to get out wireframe. Now what we need to do is we need to fill in the top and the bottom of the of the bowling pin. To do this, we're gonna zoom in, we're gonna hold down Alt, and we're gonna select the ring of vertices and hit F to make the face. We're gonna do the same thing for the bottom. We're gonna zoom into the bottom, and we're gonna pan by holding the middle mouse scroll button. We're gonna hit Alt and select the ring, the bottom ring of vertices, and we're gonna do F to make face. Now we're gonna go back to the front view. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the stripes for the pin right here. So we're gonna do this one and this one. To do this, we're gonna go into Cycles Render. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here. We're gonna click the Material button. We're gonna click New. And then we're gonna make this one white, complete white. And then we're gonna do the same thing. If we do click new, and then we're gonna make this one red. Bring your, bring your cursor all the way down to the red, or you just zero this out. Bring this notch up, and that should completely increase the red. We're gonna hold down Alt. Make sure we have box mode selected. Next, we're gonna do is we're gonna select Alt, select the ring of vertices. Hold down Shift and Alt and select the ring of vertices. Click Assign. Notice how you don't see the material. That's because we are in Cycles Rendered. So to see the material, you click this button right here and we go to Material. And now you'll see your material on the pin. Go ahead and leave Object Mode. But before we, do, um, yeah, go ahead. What we're going to do now is now we're going to smooth it out. To do that, we're going to go to Tools, and we're going to do Smooth. And there's your white bowling pin. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the uh, origin into the middle. So Object, Transform, Origin to Geometry. And that's how you make a 3D dimensional bowling pin. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial.